basically, if you are a little bit out of the loop, what we did last time I streamed was we made a game. We are cooking, man. We've got two minutes left. We're already above 100K. Let's go. And so what we're going to do today is we're actually going to continue on with that game, but we're going to slowly add more platforms to it, right? Um, just as kind of like an educational exercise, really. I thought it would be fun to have a go since Raylib actually supports quite a lot of platforms, including like web. You know, my first time using Raylib was that remake for that game. So obviously I haven't tried it before. So I thought we would just give it a go and we'll see what happens. And hopefully it'll work out well. Hopefully it won't be too difficult. I don't imagine it will be just because our Raylib experience like thus far has been pretty damn smooth. So here's Raylib, right? This is, um, you know, we were using Sea Lion uh, last time. They have a wiki which has working for web. And so there's quite a lot of things here. So it can be compiled to WebAssembly to run on web. Compilation process very similar to the one used for desktop platforms with GCC compiled, but it requires a different tool chain, MScript and SDK. So Script provides a set of tools to compile C code to WebAssembly. The main tool provided is the EMCC compiler, it's actually a direct replacement for GCC. So anyone with experience compiling code directly on the command line should not have much trouble. Cool. Okay, so I don't know if we'll be able to use CMake for this. Um, we will see. Just because this is like it, prov it provides an actual make file, but since it does, it should probably be okay. Um, so step one is to install the mscript and toolchain. So download mscript and SDK, download a zip, and decompress it to this specific folder. I love it when they like tell you exactly which folder it needs to be in. All right, yeah, we got all the things here. So now I'm going to, I'll just use my terminal, I think. So we'll go into this directory, and then we're just going to do emsdk update. Awesome, great start. Okay, well that is here. I think it might just be. This is being weird. Thanks, PowerShell. I didn't actually mean to use this with PowerShell. Um, I just like using terminal, but um, I could have just not done PowerShell, I guess. EMSDK yeah, install latest. So far it's gone pretty well. So we've got to compile Raylib with Emscripten. Okay, here we, here we go, using CMake. So we can actually use CMake, that's good. Set Raylib for web, set up your own game. So avoid this loop apparently, sure. I guess we'll have a look at the templates and everything. And then use standard Raylib Oh, so there's, I guess, two paths. So what would we do? We would just, yeah. Moving all of your update and draw code to an external function. And then, well, I mean, we've got this here. So we can probably just look at what it means here. So I'm guessing instead of this loop, which is not for web, instead we do script and set uh, main loop and that's it. And then that's the function that just does that. So it's pretty straightforward. So I guess we'll do that. I think we may already have something similar in place. Yeah, we actually do, right? So this actually calls on update. That's not quite right, because we actually need to put all of this into like the loop. So maybe we'll make a new function here. I can already set this up actually. And we'll call this like, just, I'll just call it like a loop. And then this will just be loop. All right, so we'll do activate latest apparently. So that just sets like some environment variables, which basically makes it your current kind of working copy of Emscripten. So compile Raylib is next, right? So it must be recompiled for HTML file generating, sure. Make sure all parts blah, 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 correctly configured. MCC should be accessible from the command line. So I guess we can try, let me just restart my command line uh, and I'll just, I guess we can just open up a command prompt or something. And so if I type in MCC, awesome, not recognized. Wow, okay, great. So well done. The other thing that did everything, MSDK, I mean, Maybe I have to call that or something. Didn't really mention it. I mean, I would have thought that like, let's call activate latest again. We'll just see what it does. Oh, here we go, path. Yeah, it looks like it did set it here. Yeah, okay, right. So you have to, it sets it locally, I guess. Well, actually it shouldn't though, it's in the path. Or is that, that's just the locally loaded path in this shell? I guess it is because if I go to my environment variables, yeah, this has nothing. So yeah, so it's not like a, it just does it temporarily. So I guess we just have to call activate latest or whatever and maybe add that to our path if we want it to be a bit more, whatever. All right, so to compile Raylib directly from the command line, uh, these are the commands required to run. I'm surprised they don't have a specific file for this. Like you have to execute all this stuff manually. It's a bit weird. Let's go to, I guess, the location of this. So to compile Raylib directly from the command line, these are the commands to run. So these are all Raylib files, right? So where is Raylib? Like, where do we get that from? I think we went into the wiki, right? And then we had a look at uh, working anywhere with CMake. And then I think, yeah, there's this CMake list that we got here. Can that build for the web? Oh, it can actually. So maybe that actually does it. Maybe this says, oh, here we go, web. Compiling for web requires some script and then you just do this. Oh, beautiful. I think we've discovered what I was looking for. So I'm probably gonna have to run this activate latest. So now we should have this. Yep, so EMC make we should have. And yes, we do. Okay, cool. So let's run, I guess, this, and then we just run make. Okay, no compatible generator found. Please install Ninja. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Did it mention to install Ninja? Yet another build system. There's too many of these. Okay, ninja.exe. So if I just pop that into my bin directory, 
maybe that will just work. I just downloaded Ninja. It comes in, it, it, inside the zip file that you download is an exe file. I put that into my C bin directory, which is in my path. And now everything works. Okay, so that's it. And then we just do this. Oh, I don't, yeah, I don't have make installed. I mean, it's actually inside Raylib's installation because it's inside this dev kit bin. So I could actually just add that to my path pretty quick. Okay, that did not work. Uh, no targets for so no make file found. That's a bit weird because this, this seemed to have worked, right? And it put them here, the build files. But then wouldn't I ninja build it? Because I used ninja. Because I think it checks ninja first. So I think I have to like ninja it. So this sub command failed. Okay, let's try em make ninja. Okay, I guess I can use that. All right, so what's the problem here? Um, Failed. Ooh, because of what? My little sip, my pre-compiled header. But why did that fail? Unsupported option windows. Oh, is there something dodgy inside my CMake? Uh, yeah, because I have this here. So I think this is where I'm kind of like, I need to make sure that I'm only doing this for not like the web. So I think let's do, I don't know what it is. It's not, I'm pretty sure it's not windows. I am not really a big CMake user, but I know I need to do this. This is windows specific, I guess. Okay, so let's try this again. Cool. That may have worked. Let's, oh no, I thought it was done. <laughs> All right, everything failed. Awesome. So this did not work. Wait, Clang. I thought it was using GCC. Because it's, I don't even know why it's using that. It should just be using GCC, right? Um, I might just nuke this and try again. That actually created a make file. Did we have a make file last time? I thought we didn't. Well, we've got make now anyway. Oh, I actually just called it. Okay, sure. But let's see what this does. Okay. Uh, that's actually pretty promising. Um, I think that's just this is not included or something. If defined platform web. I have a feeling we just didn't never we never defined that. But like that this was defined though. Actually, yeah, that doesn't make sense. This was defined platform web. So is it specifically it might just be my weird because that needs a callback function. Well, you know what? This is actually a singleton anyway. So because I think this is a C function, so it might specifically want us to do something like this. In which case, because that's not, we might have to do static void loop. Let's just do this. We're gonna just do a normal loop here. Um, and then we'll make static loop call a loop like that. All right, so gel W doesn't look like it's being linked in. Okay, well, this was lucky that we just found this. So I need to add this apparently, if I'm scripting. This seems like a lot of stuff that just is not included by this CMake file that promises to actually work. So let's try this. Um, we're gonna have to rerun CMake though, obviously. Yeah, I'm interested in, I mean, that's ignored during, use GFW as ignored during compilation. That sounds a bit not cool. All my, basically all my linker settings are like ignored. It's weird. Yeah, so compiling is fine, but yeah, linking is not quite working. Mostly it seems because of GLW. Whoa, 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 linking. Hey, it worked, apparently. So now we have a Genesis cpp.html file. Oh, here it is. Did we do it? There's the JavaScript. There's the WebAssembly. Let's have a look. Pairing nan out of nan. That's my favorite. Is that how far we get? Yep. Maybe it's just missing some stuff. So access to that has been blocked. Oh, okay. So I maybe have to deploy this onto a server. Now let's quickly cut to the chase and talk about deployment. Because if you're building this thing for the web using Raylib, you probably want to be able to have it accessible by everyone you know, on the web. Now the Raylib documentation actually has instructions on how you can just deploy this on itch.io for free. And that's a pretty good option. But if you want to deploy this on your own server, on your own VPS, then let's take a look at how we can do that using Hostinger, the sponsor of this video. Let me just start by saying that Hostinger has probably the best value web products I've ever come across. Check out this VPS KVM2 plan, for example. It's quite powerful, super affordable, and you can also use coupon code CHERNO for an even bigger discount. Server setup is a breeze, lots of operating systems to choose from, which is great. After a quick five minute setup, you can just SSH in. Hosting gives you full root access, so you can do whatever you need to do. For this Raylib game, I already had an Nginx server up and running, so I can just FTP all of my game files over to the server and that's it, that's all it takes. It's up and running on studio channel slash Genesis. Hosting is high performance servers use NVMe SSDs and AMD Epic processors for responsive websites and web apps. And they're easily scalable, which I love. You can easily change which plan you're on based on your needs as you go. And the benefits of using Hostinger don't stop there. So head on over to hosting.com slash Cherno, link will be in the description below and use coupon code Cherno for a limited time for an additional discount on all yearly plans. Thank you Hostinger for sponsoring this video. Oh, I can do EM run. Okay, cool. I'll do that for now like just in here. That didn't didn't quite work. Exception thrown. Failed to load resource. Favicon. Why is it really just crashed because of the Favicon? I don't think so. It's probably because of this, right? I mean, it initialized the audio device successfully. So like it did run some stuff. Probably failed because it couldn't load the audio or something. 
didn't print that though. It just crashed. Because yeah, that, that is a good point about like ex external files and stuff. How is it going to read them? Oh, here we go. There's something about resources. Failing to load resource file. Well, it's actually not saying that. Make sure you that you refer to the resource directory in the same way in the code and, the, and in the preload file. Com what's this preload file thing? Oh, create a .data file. Well, yeah, that's probably why. Okay. Preload file. So res, that's the directory, right? So it should give us a data file, I think now, or something that just contains all the packaged resources. So that's this, right? Yeah, Genesis EPP data which is 80 meg so that's probably the all the resources now we did it of course the music's not playing though oh it is it just took forever it's like popping a bit though the audio could be the fact that we're not actually running the music like the update thing on a different thread could be the like some kind of memory limitation it streams it differently or whatever in the web version because of a script and i don't know oh you know what would be extra annoying if i specifically matched this color so that's f7 a f yeah so let's copy this that's actually so funny oh let's go that is how we function here at studio channel <laughs> that's so annoying that's kind of cool though. It's like, it almost looks like the game's actually full screen. Are you guys enjoying me web devving? Cause I'm not. Right, you guys who are web devs here, can you please help me? Cause I really don't want to spend time on this garbage. Uh, the problem is I don't really quite want to center this. I kind of want it to be aligned with the beginning of the window or is that too hard? Cause then I kind of have to, how would I do that? I'd probably, actually, I probably could do that, right? Probably make a div that is, because I know, actually know the width of this. It's 900, right? So I probably could just make a div. And if I just set width to like 960, and then, does it have to be block? Hey, I don't need you. I'm a web dev. By the way, a quick little side note, quick little confession, guys. I actually don't know what block means. I actually don't know what display block is. I know there's like different, like, kinds of a layout or alignment or whatever on earth but like can someone please explain <laughs> display block like i'm five you can put multiple inlines on a line block means it takes the entire screen width basically you seem bored on the yeah well look this is not my forte this css html concoction i don't know what xx large is see the web dev is just wild like my font size i'd like it to be xx large please imagine if that's like how simple was worked yeah just xx large just that's the font size bro what does that mean? All right, I think we ship it. Okay, I think we're just gonna put it on studiochurner.com. Yeah, let's just grab all the files and pop them in there. What do people use these days for FTP? Because I feel like I've been using FileZilla for like 20 years. <laughs> oh, I definitely want the icon sets. I definitely want the additional icons. I don't think I want to share my whole server with you guys. <laughs> we're just not at that stage in our relationship, sorry. Okay, so this is this is what I made, Genesis. So now I guess we just take this. I'm gonna try call this index. Else, uh, hopefully that doesn't blow, blow up. I don't see why it would. And then everything else. So I think this is all we need. So let's copy this across. So now I guess we'll just go to studiochurno.com slash Genesis and hopefully it'll work, but it probably won't. Hey, we did it. All right, everyone can now go to studiochurno.com slash Genesis and you can play Genesis without even having to download it. I should probably renew my SSL certificates. Hold your horses, guys. We'll have HTTPS in a second. Just gotta run cert bot. So good. <laughs> Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, never mind. I guess it's up. Okay, and that's HTTPS now. HTTPS. And I don't know, like, to be honest, all of this really makes me kind of appreciate Java a bit more, just because it was so much easier. And like, I guess just the cool thing is having like a jar file that you could just give someone and literally they can run it on Windows, Mac and Linux. But like, if I want this to run on Windows and Lin um, on Mac and Linux, I literally need to like build it for those platforms separately and like probably even on those platforms potentially. Well, maybe not with Linux, but well, I could probably do that on Windows, but I don't know about Mac. I guess I could probably build a Mac binary on Windows. Is that a thing? Yeah, if you guys want to like try and build it yourselves or like, I don't know, learn from it or whatever on earth, the Cherno slash Genesis remake on GitHub is where I just pushed this, right? Build web.bat, here's the batch file that does actually work. And then obviously all of the adjustments and everything um, that I made. You can look at the diff if you want, but it was just kind of this static loop thing. And it wasn't really much, like to be honest. Yeah, good process, better than I thought it would be. Like a while ago when I was working on Sparky, like this was 2015, I was making my little Sparky engine just 40 days before Let Them Dare or whatever. I actually compiled Sparky using Mscripten for the web as well. But that was obviously not like, Raylib was kind of built with that in mind. Obviously Sparky was my own engine, so I didn't really have any support for that stuff. You know, I had to compile not just Sparky for the web, but all of the dependencies, including like, I think I was using like free image 
or something. I remember my boss, like from EA was like helping me do this. Like, as in while I was live streaming, working on one thing, he'd be like trying to get free image, I think to build or whatever. Like it was just, it was hilarious. Um, and it was very, very difficult. So I just remember how difficult that was. Yeah, Sparky is available on GitHub. Uh, it's just the Cherno slash Sparky. Sparky mscripten was much, much, much harder, obviously than Raylib mscripten web build because it's basically set up everything. The hard work is done for you. You just have to actually build it. I hope you enjoyed this experience of getting Genesis running on the web. Um, please just fix my AMD issues. Yes, goodbye.